Hello there folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome to part 27 of season 2 of the Neil Robertson Pro Career on Snooker 19. And today it's time for the second round, the round of 16, last 16, whatever you want to call it. The match against Luca Brussel, the Belgian in the German Masters, the last 16. Now this is a fairly close match, rank 10 we are at the moment, rank 12 is Luca Brussel. And we've only met Luca Brussel once in our career mode so far. That was back in July in real life and I suppose back... About this time last year in the Coral World Grand Prix um, in the last date where Luca Purcell beats by three frames nil. Hopefully it's not the same outcome today because we are very much on a good run of form. We have been undefeated in our last seven matches. Of course that culminated in the win on, in the Daffabet Masters and also a solid uh, three nil win against Jimmy Robertson in the first round, the round of 32. But... Let's get into this game, shall we, against Luca Brussel. It's a tight match. Luca Brussel is a good player. As I say, we've only played him once. But in real life, he just seems to he just seems to have faded away completely. He got some real good momentum. Well, I wouldn't say momentum, but potential going last year in real life. And that has really faded away. But funnily enough, it seems that our rising form, winning the Masters and doing really well, has coincided with a real pickup in form with Robbo in real life. He's not doing, done too well in the... In the season so far in real life, I don't think he got it got past the last 16 in the ranking event something until a few events ago. And that's pretty similar to our plight, it has to be said, but we're in good form. And hopefully that continues in this tournament and starting today in the round of 16 against Luca Brussel. Again, shorter match, best of five today, so not like the Daffabet Masters where we were used to the longer matches. Um, and it is Luca Brussel to break off for the first frame. It's great to see you guys supporting this, uh, this series. As usual, um, we are heading towards that great milestone of episode 100. This is episode 96 as a whole. Um, but we are heading towards that great uh, milestone of episode 100. So if we can get behind the series up to then, that will be absolutely awesome, as you guys, I'm sure, will do, as you always do anyway. And I think that winning the Masters really perked myself up for doing this series. Um, and I hope it excites you guys well for what potential we can have for this uh, second half of the season. I'm not sure what I'm going to do as a season three, whether we will do a season three, but hopefully if we continue like we are at the moment, it should be a long while before we're worrying about doing any sort of season three. It's an interesting safety there from Purcell. Potentially just try and get it behind the brown. Because we are quite exposed if uh, it doesn't go behind the brown. And that's a little bit too hard, and he might have a little bit of a chance. This really is tricky. Well, he's missed it. It was a decent chance. And if that ball bounces Faber, Bree, mm, it hasn't really, to be honest. Could have been a lot easier. It would have been a good chance for us. So I'm going to duck out of that one, I think. I'm going to duck out of it. Because, I mean, he didn't leave anything on there. He was pretty lucky. But, again, he could have left something on. And it could have been a frame when he chance for us, don't it, the brown? Hmm. That didn't help. Not an easy one, but a half chance. But he takes his opportunity the second time round. Although, unfortunately, he's quite obstructed. He's got to go for one of the bulk colours. It's the yellow. Good pot. Brings it back down the table. And he might have a frame an opportunity from the start here. We didn't play too well against Jimmy Robertson. I'll hold my hands up to that. If you didn't watch that video, yeah, we didn't play too well at all. Our highest break, I think, was something like 41. Obviously, in the Daffabet Masters, the standard was a lot higher from ourselves. I think when you're in a tournament of that magnitude, playing against the magnitude of play, you take it really seriously. But against players like Jimmy Robertson, again, no offence to him, but you do take more risks, and then, of course, you miss more shots, and the breaks aren't so much. Whereas against a player like Mark Williams in the final, or Judd Trump, or Mark Allen, you have to consider what you're doing, because if you let them in, they will take the chance. And to be fair, that's a chance that Luca Brussel will probably take as well. So we'll see how this first frame develops. See if he can make this a frame when he chance put us on the back foot. Because obviously in these shorter matches, which is a challenge within itself... You've got to be at the races straight away. In the longer matches, yes, it can be quite daunting. But you can build momentum and equally you can you can stop momentum quite quickly. You can let a player get away with winning the first four frames. And then if you get some momentum behind you, you can really start something. But it only takes a player... I mean, that's a favourable and an unfavourable decision. You can win the first two frames or lose the first two frames. And of course, the 
the opposite player to be on the wrong side of that already on the back foot. But that's a little bit of a weak shot from Brussel, so he's got to recover here, and that blue is wide of the mark. Look at Brussel, 23. Felt like a bit of a shot to nothing, but he has left this red on. Felt like he was probably going to give himself a harder chance to get back in here. What a great shot that is. In case he missed, but we take the opportunity. And it was fairly fought poor from Brussel. It needs a recovery shot with the with the uh, blue one. Unfortunately, he didn't get it. Mm, not sure about that pink. Rather be sure and take on the green. He's given us a good chance here. And I'd hate to give it up for uh, misjudging something. So, fairly easy shot on the green. Position's the only worry here. But it should be fine. We should be able to cut that red. That's pretty much in a parallel line to the to the uh, the white ball, the cue ball. And we should be able to cut that in. Need to develop these reds, to be honest. So this is a risky shot. Quite a lot of power. Pots there. We've moved the reds all about, but it's not going to come to anything. Well, it's a great split, to be honest. But, as you can visibly see, unless we can get some real luck here, we're on nothing. So, it was a risky shot, and it has to be said that the risk, unless we play a good safety here, um, has not paid off. But that might not be too bad, you know. That might not be too bad. It's up the table. I mean, he's got a good chance on the red that's close to the pocket. Playing this one. But he's just playing a safety on it. He didn't fancy the pot. But let's see how this ends up. If he might just career into the brown and give us a bit of a problem. It has, but not too much of one. But ultimately, we're just going to play the safety here. Seems a bit too risky to go for the pot. Against what we'd have done in the Daffabet Masters final, so we might as well do it here. But this needs to have the legs. Although he's got a, you know, he's going to have a good chance on the ball close to the pink. So we need to brush up on our safety technique today a little bit. Because Brussel has given us a few chances. And, well, he's not going to give that sort of chance up. But ultimately, again, it's very loose. And it's just going to be a safety. Look at Brussel. And even that's a little bit hard because he could have snookered us behind the uh, behind the green, but it didn't happen for him, unfortunately. So let's see where that cue ball ends up. I mean, it's not going to give away anything because unless he has a really good shot, he's not on anything. That red being on the cushion massively helps uh, the defending player out anyway. That's a good. That's more like it. That is certainly more like it from Brussel. That's what he tried to do with the green, I think, and couldn't. Pace is key with this shot. He doesn't want to overhit it. See if we can get out of this. Just a leap of five. And we have. And that's not the worst shot in the world. I think he will be on that red to pot, but it's not the easiest angle, particularly with the brown uh, the black being right by it. But now we should play in a safety. So we got out of that well. Ooh, and he's hit that other red there. And potentially opened up an opportunity if it goes. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't. So that might be a problem for for us. Hmm. Just trying to see if we can get it behind the uh, behind the yellow. But that sort of pace is a little bit awkward, isn't it? Will this red get past the pink? I don't think it will. That red developing has actually given us a big, bigger headache than I thought it would. I think that red will pass. I think it might be worth having a flirt with the red. Could be a dangerous one because we could uh, put the pink in. But it's there. And it's dangerous now because we can put the pink in, but actually we'll get points for it, so... That's good to see, and we also developed a few reds there, which is great. But actually, um, I'm going to duck out of that because it doesn't give us great positions. So I'm going to duck out of that one, hopefully get the pot on the blue. Hopefully this is accurate because it's a great opportunity, I think, for us to, to go and win this frame now. So developing that red, getting that red up the bulk wasn't uh, particularly a mistake because of the red. It was a mistake because it's... Uh, Actually allows us to see another opportunity. 
position looks good for a colour. Again, we're pretty much in the same position with that. That's uh, pink ball, so I'm a bit reluctant to take it on. And I think if we play this nice and soft, we might have an angle to put the, the red up the bulk into the middle pocket. Got to pop this first, but it looks okay to me. And it's there. Angle's not the best on the red, but I think we can probably still put it in the middle pocket, so... To risk this, trying to check it doesn't go into the middle pocket, the cue ball. But it's there, well judged. We can actually take the pink on a little bit better this time, because we can get the screw back on it. Hopefully it doesn't backfire. We need this to avoid the red, which it does. Well, that's not ideal. We also have needed to avoid the pocket. Hmm, well, you heard what uh, Neil Fold said, and that was pretty accurate. Not ideal. Very tricky shot coming up. Oh, that's gutting. That's gutting. Oh, and the blacks moved in his favour as well. Well, that was a misjudgment. On all accounts, to be honest. And I think this might give him the frame. Not got back to our Masters form just yet. And for those of you perhaps commenting, well, this is the Masters, I'm in the Daffabet Masters. Very confusing having all these Masters events this time of the year, but that is a poor shot. So he's just gone for the safety there. But where's the cue ball? It's okay. Well, if a shot's nothing here, I haven't got much to lose. Ooh, it's missed. And if that red goes into a position where he can pot it, I might cry. But that's going to be a little bit... Uh, he might go for it. He might go for it. Let's see. No, he's just going to play the safety. Good safety. But I'm going to just have a punt at this. Have a punt. See why not. Half a chance here. Try and get it round the table by using a bit of power. We've hit the red. But how's it going to end up? Frustratingly, into an easy chance for Brazil. We're playing with a bit of uh, we're playing with fire here because oh, well, we we're just going to be giving up chances if we start doing that. And Brazil's going to take this one, I think. He's eighteen ahead, thirty-five left. So red, black, and then uh, the yellow will confirm the frame goes to Brazil. So not the best start from us at all. We need to kick into gear, we need to kick into shape. Or else we're going to be out. But 28 ahead, 26 left. And it's just a case of him clearing up now and it will go on to the next frame. So not a best start from us at all, to be honest. A little bit unlucky, you should say, but some of our decisions have been a little bit silly. So hopefully we can just have our little bit of silliness, our, our quota of silliness for this frame. And then just play sensibly the rest of the game. This has been a nice little break from Russell. Obviously the highest break of the game so far. Especially if he pots the black. And with that clearance of 38. I couldn't quite call it clearance but oh well. Um, local Brussel wins the first frame. So it's our break off next. Yep, I agree. That's not a bad break off at all. Can't complain about that. Can't always get the perfect angle to get it snuggled in behind the brown, but if you can't get that, that's pretty much perfect. Again, there's not too much risk involved with that sort of safety. Because the balls are all quite tight. I mean, you've got to muck it up quite a lot to give him an opportunity. That could be a worry, though. 
luckily, I think the yellow, hitting the yellow would have been our godsend. So I don't know if it had gone in off there. I don't know if the, the angle was there. So he's looking to play Not much commentary there. from uh, Folds and Hendon today, is there? Go on, hit that yellow and go in off. Wait, well, you know, don't go in off, sorry. That's the wrong terminology there. Um, put the yellow in the pocket. But it didn't happen, but next best thing's happened. He's given us a potential chance to start a break here. So we're going to just have to hammer this. Because we really need to get out of here. We don't want to stay down there if uh, we pot it, which we have. He's gone off. Well. I just feel it might be one of their matches today. Look at Brissell. On here. That sort of shot, usually one that goes right, but after cannoning off how many reds, it's uh, managed to go in the middle pocket, which is unbelievable. And the cue ball has finished very nicely. One. This is crazy. Nothing's really going for us yet, but we can't start crying about that. Simple. To develop the reds, where's the cue ball? It's okay. Hmm, this could be a frame winning chance for Bissell. You know, I said earlier about 13. not repeating the result of the Coral World Grand Prix. Could be the case today. 18. A little bit awkward here, but I think he'll be alright. Especially that sort of pace. That's not the best shot in the world, though. But that's a good recovery. Beautiful pop. Looks in good form, Brussel here. Any we need to sort ourselves out or else we're going to be out. Just a safety there from him there. There's a poor shot and uh, his looks ran out. Look at Brussel, and that's an even worse shot. Gives us basically the easiest start you could have possibly had. Really shocked about that. Good start. So can we steal this frame set from Brussel? Let's find out. Great opportunity to get back into the match. I've overdone that a little bit, but at least we can get that red on the cushion. And play with as little power as possible. That's it, good pop. Nine. This might be a wake up call for us here. I'm trying to get this into a position where you can play the red, but obviously it's a lot very delicate. It needs to be Exactly the right pace. It's a little bit off, but it'll do. So we can play the red. 16. It's the only red that was really open. Gives us a problem though, because we're not really in the best position for the, the black next off. So hopefully this will go right. It's not bad at all, is it? That's gone pretty well. And now we're in a more comfortable position, this side of the black. Well, everything's starting to go right here, isn't it? I've uh, just been bought in a cup of tea. So just for getting on the right side of the black, which doesn't actually look as good an opportunity as I thought it might do. Which is a little bit of a shame. Trying to see what opportunities we've got. And we haven't really got that many, so... I'll be just a case of plumbing for the pink and trying to make an opportunity. Hit the blue, nice, but it didn't really work. Only moved the one red. Fancy this though. It's not there, but it was a bit of a shot to nothing, bit of a safety. It's got it back up bulk, but he might fancy this red now. But he's missed it. Wow. Well, Again, a bit of a shot to nothing, I feel, there for him. That's right on the cushion now. Give 
Again, bit of a shot to nothing here. But we've missed it, and we've hit the black. But fortunately, because that red is right on the cushion, he might take on one of the reds. But no, he's just going to play a safety, and that is a bit odd. Had to get safe there, because that was quite an aggressive one. I think he has. That's a little bit of a gut there, isn't it? That's a little bit of a shame. And unbelievably, hit that a few percentiles lower, and we get right behind the brown. But actually, that gives him an opportunity to pot it after we just missed it. It wasn't actually intentional we are going to go for the pot. She wants to play the safety on it, but black's back. And it's fair to say we've not really had the momentum so far, but you could say that we've not really had much luck. But again, Luca Brussel not plumping to go for the pot. And giving us an opportunity. Very interesting. This is not easy. That's a fabulous pot. Good pot. But one. now we give him enough opportunity here. Can't mess this one up now. At the right pace. Hopefully, this opportunity, because the other ones haven't, definitely not. Hopefully, this is a bit of a light bulb moment to get on with it. Or else you're going to be beat. If you're 2-0 down, a bit of a tricky one to recover. Especially given we've not been in the game so far. A bit harder than we wanted. But because of the pace of the table and the way the cue ball was, it's uh, not going to be of too much detriment to us. Lining this one up to the middle pocket. Seventeen. Just trying to get on one of these two reds now, isn't it? Half a chance here. Well, we've missed the black. Hmm. A little bit silly. Neil Robertson, Don't think he's got the angle on either of these, luckily. I was trying to make the angle, and I thought, well, the black might be our best opportunity. But unbelievably, again, it's almost like Brussel wants us to win the frame. Oh, please, give me a challenge. And we'll take it yes. quite happily. Although, that red going up bulk gives us a little bit of a problem. One. See where this one ends up. Might be good, might be bad. It needs to not be the wrong side of the red. And that makes things very awkward. Try and get it behind the blue, the green then. Trying to be covered on all bases here. Very tricky to get this right. Trying to get it by the green if you can't tell. <laughs> That'll do. Perfect. Good shot. Should just be a case of coming off the cushion for him, but... Bit of a challenge. Neil Robertson, six. And that's a good uh, escape there. Very well judged shot there. Can he get to that now? I think he can. Might be tight. Or it might just be easy. No, we snooked him again, but he's got to it. Just putting the feelers on, and that's a much better chance. And uh, allows us to get to a decent colour rather than a bulk colour. So that tactic of playing the safety there worked. And hopefully, it should give us a frame winning chance. <clears throat> Just wants to sink 
this into the left corner pocket. It's there. Not the best on the yellow, though. I would hope that was a lot close to the cushion. Should be okay, though. Well, he's taking it on to the left corner. Good pot. Well, an excellent pot. Great technique. Superb queuing. Green's going to be a little bit tricky, but not the hardest shot in the world. He's looking to pop this into the left corner pocket. He'll want to try and tighten up his game a little. Well. We just haven't got the right momentum at the moment, and if Luca Purcell takes this chance, which you have to say, I think he will. That's a real concern. That is a real concern. Well, needs to tighten up our game massively. He might make a mistake here, but can't see it. We'll need the black. What a great pot. Many players don't miss these two. It certainly doesn't miss a black like that. I need to really sort out our game because Luca Brazil's now 2 0 up. And, that is the frame. and one frame away from a place in the quarter final. Well, this lead is starting to grow now. Thank you for third frame. First Super Cup of Tea. Hopefully uh, that will sort us out. A bit of a more aggressive break off there, but just give us a half chance. And in this situation, I think you just have to go for things, to so go for pots. He's tempted by this red. Close, but not quite. Well. Is it going to be one of them days? I think it is. Tried to play the double there, but tried playing it across four cushions in the end. It didn't really work. Although I can't tell whether he was trying to play the double. Brilliantly played. Apart from potting it. <laughs> That's more like it. Let's just see where it ends up, though, for goodness sake. Our potting game is usually very good, but positionally, we've been a bit naff today. I think that's the right word to use. See what we're trying to do here. Let's make sure this bloody goes in, because if we cannon into the reds and... Yeah. Just about sums up today. I don't know what's happened. To be truthful. It's just all been so natural recently. And can't say Brussels played brilliantly. Again, I, I know I'm going a bit Judd Trump over this. Going, well, it's all our own fault. The other player was crap. I'm not necessarily saying that, but... We've not helped ourselves today. I mean, this is a great opportunity for Brazil. I just can't believe how we've we've not had the, the flair that we have had usually today. It's a real shock. 15. But not all over yet. 20. Could be. This would be a real crushing blow if we do go and lose. Because we were on cloud nine. But... Ultimately, you look at the results and not the way we've played. We're simply back to the usual, typical ranking event form. People don't remember us for the Masters because it might be a fluke. But this is a bit of a concern. If Luca Brassell continues the way he is, this could be a match-winning break. And he could beat us to nil. Here. Good pot. I think that one's crucial, to be honest. It's a good pot, that was. Starts to get a little bit more awkward from here. He might choose to open up that pack of five reds here because position's a little bit awkward on the two on the cushion. And he has opened them up. Where's the cue ball? Ooh, nice. But unfortunately, it doesn't make much of an opening. Is he going for this? So close. Well, could this be a potential route back in? Well, 
lots of power on this shot. Not quite where we were aiming to get it, but that'll do. The trouble is, I'd kind of lost all hope then and gone, well, you'll win the frame now. Maybe this is just what we need. The strap in, folks. We've done plenty of these comebacks before, but it could be short-lived. We could just miss this blue and it could be all over. At least we potted two in a row. Can't say we've done that too often today. Do agree. Not the best split in the world, but... Again, we've been dealing with rubbish position all day, so... Not come as much as a shock. Oh, dear, dear, dear. I should have said we haven't potted... Was it? Yeah, we haven't potted three balls very often in a row today. Oh, that's dreadful. Head's just not been in it today. That could have been the start of a 3-2 comeback, but I'll tell you something, Luca Brasselli's not going to miss this now. What a stupid decision that was. You know, it's a tight pot. You wouldn't really take that in normal play. But especially as a player who, you know, could have been his last shot. I have to say that was foolish. Really silly decision. Fourteen. Twenty. Twenty. Don't need me to say this is all over now. Not the usual crowd reaction, but, I mean, he's 69 ahead. 51 remain on the table, I believe. 69, actually. Well, uh, sorry, 43 left on the table. And we're 69 behind. I think, unfortunately, folks, it's just time to shake hands. Well, what can you say? Other than that, he's massively frustrating. We've dominated players in that fashion before and thought it was great. And again, a highest break of Luca Brussel from 49. Very much similar to the last match we played against Jimmy Robertson, but not in our favour. And that is a massive disappointment. Another tournament. Again, there's not many left of the season. And if we keep doing that in every tournament, it's going to be a simple case of... It might be all over, but Mark Allen wins the tournament. Nice to see a different face on there rather than Mark Selby. Judd Trump gets the high break award. And uh, we're on to the Coral World Grand Prix next. So let's see how the, uh, the rankings have changed after that. No change in the rankings. Um, I mean, we're, we're just falling further behind now. And as you can see, Brissell, Barry Hawkins and Sean Murphy all very close behind us. That Luckily, that Bingham, Gilbert and uh, Maguire group are a long way back. But it's a concern really a concern but next tournament it is coral world grand prix and it's yao yu long in the first match of the coral world grand prix a good chance to get back to our masters form and hopefully we will but that is a real bad performance against Brussel. but we need to bounce back that's in the past and go and see if we can have a great performance and hopefully go and win or at least get to the final of the coral world grand prix thank you for watching folks i hope you enjoyed I didn't particularly enjoy that one, I'll, I'll happily admit that. But uh, if you guys enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like down below, comment your thoughts and subscribe for regular Snooker 19. We'll be back, hopefully on Wednesday, for the next match against Yulong. Thank you for watching, folks, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye for now.